In 1945, Allied forces, including American soldiers, liberated hundreds of Nazi concentration camps spread across Europe. African American soldiers were among the American liberators. When the soldiers entered the camps, they were not prepared for what they saw. We were coming down this road through a forest and the open field and the big fence and a gate. I told the driver to go through the gate, and we went and knocked the gate down and went into the camp. I was sitting up in my tank, you know, looking, because I didn't even know what it was until one of my uh, platoon came up and said, Sarge, I said, you know what this is? I said, no, what is it? he said, they said this is a concentration camp. I just, I just stared with my mouth open, because did, they didn't look human, to be honest with you. But I'll never forget the black soldier sitting on the turret. And they were absolutely horrified. I'll never forget their eyes were like saucers because what they saw here was something that they would have never seen under any battlefield conditions. Had they been hours later or days later, many more of us would not have made it, and I'll be forever grateful to them. I'm ever I seen a black person. I never seen one before, and. He came right front of me and gave me the bicycle and the big bag of chocolate. I think this was the first time I was happy in many, many, many years. But to see what you see these people to be treated like that, and human, and we, you know, you figure you only thought about slavery doing to black people. And I thought, I didn't think that was, something like that would happen today. I didn't know that, that the Germans were that evil to want to do this to people. Black and white American soldiers both fought to liberate Europe from Nazi Germany. Upon returning from the war, black soldiers once again were met with segregation and racial inequality. Historians contend World War II and the heroic role played by black soldiers proved to be a turning point in the fight for racial justice in the United States. It contributed to the rise of the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, We'll be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spirit. Many American Jews actively participated in the civil rights movement. They saw it as a requirement of their faith and culture. I was the rabbi of the Jewish community in Berlin. The most shameful and the most tragic problem is silence. America must not become a nation of onlookers. The fate of Jews and black Americans once again became intertwined, both risking their lives in the fight for justice. When Martin Luther King led the march from Selma to Montgomery in 1965 to protest racial injustice, he was joined marching arm in arm by Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, Heschel believed the biblical prophets demanded he advocate for justice for his black brothers and sisters. He later wrote, When I marched in Selma, my feet were praying. Courage in the face of evil. Love in the face of hate. Justice in the face of prejudice and intolerance. Let us honor their legacy. Today, we reflect on the historical significance of Jewish and black communities working together to fight against racism and human rights atrocities. Jewish, Christian, or Muslim, black, brown, or white, our own people or that of any other nationality in any other country. 
We recognize the importance of working together to stand up against all injustices. We must do what we can to help those in need, as many are doing now, to provide humanitarian aid to the millions of Ukrainian refugees and the millions more who are fighting to defend their freedom. We must never be indifferent to the suffering of others. As we mark Holocaust Remembrance Day with the March of Living here in Auschwitz, Birkenau, and as we pass the torch of remembrance from one generation to the next, let us recommit ourselves to the fight for equality for all. For as Martin Luther King so powerfully reminded us, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Thank you for attending today's march. You each have a role to play, and together we can beat hate.